Hello, I'm Jace Grimm, and I've been cooking professionally for about eight years. I'm a French train. I'm here in my hometown of Decorah, Iowa, and I'm going to show you how to make a apple radish fall slaw. Um, I have, like I said, an apple that I uh, plucked from my tree this morning. Um, I like a nice tart apple for a salad like this because it kind of balances the sweetness of the fennel and the spice of the radish. And I'm just going to give this a nice thin slice. And you want to do this as close to serving as possible to, uh, to prevent the apple from oxidizing or turning brown. So in my bowl I have the, uh, the mixed greens and the apple, and then the baby leek, the fennel, and the watermelon radish that I sliced earlier. Now I'm going to put together my, uh, my vinaigrette. So I'm going to start with my whole grain mustard, um, which has a lecithin in it, which is an emulsifier, so that's what's going to hold our vinaigrette together. And to that I'm going to add a tablespoon of the cider vinegar, a tablespoon of nice local maple syrup, and a tablespoon of soy sauce, or tamari if you're doing that whole gluten-free thing. And I'm just going to whisk these together. And to this, I'm going to add bacon fat. And um, if you're looking to stay away from animal fats, of course, you can omit the bacon altogether and do a olive oil or a grapeseed or some other lighter oil. But I really enjoy bacon fat. Um, so I'm just going to emulsify that in there. And with salads, it's very important not to overdress it. So I'm going to start out with very little vinaigrette and work my way up from there. So we'll do like a couple tablespoons. Nice clean pair of tongs. Give this a toss. <laughs> so I have my, my vinaigrette in with my radish, apple, fennel, and greens. And I've seasoned it liberally. And I'm just going to get it well coated. So I'm going to grab a nice bit of these greens to go on the bottom. And then I'm going to layer the salad up from there. I'm trying to get as much height as possible. I have my, uh, my candy black walnuts, and these I just tossed in a little bit of maple syrup and toasted in the oven at 350 until they were uh, caramelized and dry. So we have some of those. The bacon I rendered earlier. And finally, some nice aged sharp white cheddar. And here we have our apple fennel fall slaw, and uh, let's give it a give it a try. I think it'll be pretty well balanced with all those flavors in there, and you can't really go wrong with bacon and cheddar. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's really good.